हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू पीएमसी इंग्लिश दिस इज आयशी फरासी एंड वेलकम बैक टू अ सेगमेंट ऑफ मोटिवेशनल स्टोरीज सो द टाइटल ऑफ टुडे स्टोरी इज टर्न योर वीकनेस इनटू स्ट्रेंथ्स बट हाउ डू वी डू दैट सो लेट्स सी द स्टोरी अ 10 ईयर ओल्ड बॉय डिसाइडेड टू स्टडी जूडो डिस्पाइट द फैक्ट दैट ही हैड लॉस्ट हिज लेफ्ट आर्म इन अ डेवस्टेटिंग कार एक्सीडेंट Well the boy began lessons with an old Japanese judo master the boy was doing well so he couldn't understand why after 3 months of training the master had taught him only one move the boy said to the master shouldn't i be learning more moves this is the only move you know but this is the only move you will ever need to know the master replied not quite understanding but believing in his teacher the boy kept training several months later the master took the boy to his first tournament surprising himself the boy easily won his first two matches the third match proved to be more difficult but after some time his opponent became impatient and charged the boy deftly used his one move to win the match still amazed by his success the boy was now in the finals this time his opponent was bigger stronger and more experienced for a while the boy appeared to be overmatched concerned that the boy might get hurt the referee called a time out he was about to stop the match when the master intervened no the master insisted let him continue soon after the match resumed his opponent made a critical mistake he dropped his guard Instantly the boy used his move to pin him and the boy had won the match and the tournament. He was the champion of the tournament. On the way home the boy and the master reviewed every move in each and every match. Then the boy summoned the courage to ask what was really on his mind. Master, how did I win the tournament with only one move? You won for two reasons. The master answered. First, that is you have almost mastered one of the most difficult throws in all of the judo and second the only known defense for that move is for your opponent to grab your left arm the boy's biggest weakness had become his biggest strength now so the moral of the story is that sometimes we feel that we have certain weaknesses and we blame god that the circumstances or ourselves for it but we never know that our weaknesses can become our strengths one day so each of us is special and important so never think that you have any weakness never think of pride or pain just live your life to its fullest and extract the best out of it sometimes your biggest weakness can become your biggest strength well i hope that this little story will make a little difference in your life do not forget to visit our website www.pmcenglish.com well this is aishi farasi signing off stay tuned to pmc english for more updates Thank <music> you.